Our main aim is to be able to empower people to have a good sexual health. Sex doesn't stop when your partner dies, sex doesn't stop when you get divorced. Um, so it's basically just educating people on what services we can provide for them. So we do full sexual health screenings here and we also do um, additional testing on the more complicated people. So we can have commercial sex workers coming in here, um, people who have been um, sexually assaulted. So they are all the kind of the tertiary stuff that would only be seen in a specialist clinic like this. It's a very diverse role. So we work with people who have sexually transmitted infections and the burden of sexually transmitted infection is carried by the community of men that have sex with men and our transgender community. So in order to provide that really, really uh, diverse type of, of care, then we need to make sure that our nursing team are equipped with the skills and the knowledge that they have to meet all of those different challenges. I have always been passionate about education. I think that you can't expect people to deliver good quality care if you don't invest in them educationally to make sure that they have the right skills and knowledge to do the thing that you want them to do. First question I always ask people when they start in the department is where have you been, what qualifications have you got and where do you want to go and how can we help you get that? We kind of constantly are modelling and evaluating and changing our service to meet the needs of what's going on in the local area. So when I first arrived into this job we'd very much got the GUM specialists and the family planning nurses. Family planning nurses were already starting the process of becoming trained in both. The aim ultimately is that everybody has both the GUM experience and the family planning experience and we can provide a whole umbrella of integrated services across the board with all the team. I'm an outreach nurse. We try and see a lot of the people that can't come to clinic or young, vulnerable people. We spend good time working with social workers, teachers. I do a bit of clinical hours as well, so seeing people for sexual health and contraception reasons. Um, doing procedures such as implants, um, but a big part of my role is working with the younger people and their contraception. You get to use your brain and make people happy, basically. I love the sensitivity of the subject matter we deal with. It is not like orthopedics where if you break a leg, we just fix it. In sexual health, you deal with the heart of people, you deal with emotions, you deal with relationships, and those kind of aspects of human life is what really makes and breaks us. The people who come to the clinic really trust our expertise, our knowledge, and are confident that whatever they disclose to us will remain with us. We don't even share what the consultation is about with our colleagues unless we need our colleagues' help in dealing with their patient. It's a very different way of nursing because you're not by somebody's bedside, you're not caring for their needs in that way. You are a bit of a detective. You are a caring person because you are trying to help someone get where they are, but you're also empowering people. There's, there's something special about helping people.